I drip? My dear elite, no... Watching, Watching you hurt, hurt shouldn't, shouldn't give me such a lift, lift monster. monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my joy where I can. I hear a out of my home. Salvation! Turn off the light. I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scam's an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me.
another day waiting for Harry to come home. I told him not to speak up against Mr. Ryan's policies, and now he's missing. Just never came home. I went by the bookstore, and all his books are gone, too. I don't know what to do. Now I have to deal with that awful Sinclair just to have a roof over my head. The blue morpho bounces off the glass as I watch. I fold these paper effigies as secret badges for the faithful. The morpho caterpillar doesn't spin a cocoon. It just grows armor on the inside before the change. It is a... Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. A hundred. What a snap. Give Sinclair a few bucks for a load of vials and needles, then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. Sell them back to Sinclair twice the price. <laughs> what a racket. A few pinpricks here and there is nothing to complain about. I'm gonna be back on top soon. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Sucker. We both, we both died, died tonight, tonight monster. monster. I, because, because your, your kind has, has killing, killing in its nature, its nature. And, and you. you. Because, because there's, there's no, no way, way the family, family will let you let stroll, stroll out alive with that key. Only an echo to my name, Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my... I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I 
tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away. No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. <laughs> 